Um, hi everyone. I really like how I look. I really look like shit right now. Uh, I haven't posted anything in a while, but because we were homeless for about seven months, and uh, we got into place last November, but I'm trying to get settled. And yes, I had changed my hair again, but regardless. Um, I was watching TV. I was watching the Maury show in particular. And there is this thing on there, and that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm going to play some of it, and then I'm going to pause. And, uh, I'm going to give commentary back, so let's go ahead and start this. Everyone, this is Kyrisha. Welcome, Kyrisha. Now, six months ago, Kyrisha gave birth to an adorable little girl. Her name is Kashaya. Look at her. Sadly, her ex-boyfriend Ricky and his new fiance, Star Dietrich, are both completely denying he is Kashaya's father. But there's a shocking twist. Because Kyrisha claims that despite Ricky's engagement, being with this other woman, she was intimate with him a week ago. Okay, now. You saw her with her hands up. She supposedly met this man six months ago. Well, there's more to it. You'll hear. But. Had a baby. On the more show for DNA test. But she slept with him a week ago. So. Let's continue. So today, Kyrisha is determined to expose Ricky as a bold-faced liar with a DNA and lie detector test. Now you heard her. Ricky hasn't given her any money, any emotional support. He hasn't even given her a diaper. But she slept with him a week ago. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna come over for a booty call and your ass got me pregnant, the first thing I'm gonna say is, okay, well on your way over, you better make sure you bring some diapers and wipes. And motherfucker, you show up at my door, and you have no diapers, no wipes, and you expect me to spread my legs? I'm gonna tell you fucking, uh, kick rocks, motherfucker. But this stupid bitch, oh, hey, you ain't gave me no money, no emotional support. Hey, you ain't bought me a diaper. I'm gonna spread my legs. This is how stupid she is. But regardless, let's continue. Now, his girl needs to follow back and Ricky needs to step up and be a damn man. Ricky, after today, I'm going to have the last laugh. You'll be ready to cut my check. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Diane. you and I talk. Yes, sir. You and Ricky have a long relationship. Uh, 11 years. 11 years. 11 years. Off and on. Off and on. Every year. And you've never met her. I know. She got the phone, but I ain't never met her. And you and him were intimate a week ago. Yes, sir. Just a week ago.
just a week ago, he was in her house. And now, now that, that, that's what kills me. If she wants to make that clear, that he was there a week ago. And he slept with her. And I guarantee you, if her ass gets pregnant by him again, guess what? You'll see her stupid ass on the Mori show again getting another DNA test because who denies that baby? Now, I would be hitting home more the fact that I had this baby six months ago and he hadn't done shit. I'm doing everything myself, but more than likely her, her stupid ass is on government assistance. But regardless, let us continue. And if he's going to send you a text message saying, Are you going to give me some? I would text back and say, Are you going to give me some diapers? But no. Not her. And it's the other woman's fault, as you can see, because he's denying the baby. But still, I'm going to keep hitting home. Your stupid ass opened your legs again and slept with him. So that would make you a slut. Okay, right there, you saw yourself, you super bitch. Where has he been after six months? Well, just a week ago, he was laid up in your fucking bed, fucking you. But where has he been after six months? One time about he don't get your baby a stroller, he ain't got your baby nothing. He ain't got your baby nothing. No, he ain't got your baby nothing, because guess what? He's fucking you, but he got your pussy, didn't he? Stupid bitch.
angry. Why don't you just tell me it's not his face? It's not. Why? It's not his face either. It looks just like me. They don't look nothing like him. He has other kids that are looking like him. Don't look 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 like him. Don't even though she's a stupid slut and bitches because he ain't bought the baby nothing, nothing but she opens her legs. I'm so sick watching these shows and these guys coming on here and they're out here and they sleep with this girl and then they leave and go fucking pop off with this girl and then leave and go pop off with another girl and by that time he's got three to four different kids. There's a thing they call, um, it's at, it's at the store. You can go in and, and like, for maybe, like, a dollar ninety nine, you could buy a pack of them. Maybe for this stupid motherfucker, it ain't Magnum, but they have them smaller than that. That's another thing, Kelsey. They want to fight each other because supposedly he was with her a week ago and supposedly he was with her a week ago. Motherfuckers, instead of trying to fight each other, why don't you beat that big-headed motherfucker that's sitting there smirking thinking the shit's funny? What the fuck is wrong with you women nowadays? Okay, whether that text was true or not, because we never do see it. But regardless, your stupid ass is on the Mario show. And, she, and I think she did see it. You, you saw her face. Like, <gasps> okay. You don't ask got pregnant by him. You're bitching because he supposedly ain't done nothing in six months for the baby. But you slept this stupid ass a week ago. And now you're fucking wanting him to come to your room because you want another baby by him? Get the fuck out of here, you stupid ass skank. Okay, these are the results getting ready to come up. Um, I don't think he goes through them just yet. I, I'm going to have to fast forward or, or skip to it. But, just to let you know that when the results do come in, I want you to watch how stupid this girl acts. Now, the girl that, that, that got moved because she supposedly wanted to beat her ass, I think she just sits up over the other girl. You need to watch this. She's she's special. Oh, are 
results of Kyrisha's lie detector test. Yes. You asked if you ever had sexual intercourse with Ricky during his relationship with Shardik. You said yes. The lie detector test determined. Hold on, I gotta fast forward. This is gonna take a minute. Stephanie, look. Oh, there it goes. Look there it goes, James. Early as possible. And shortchanged by the. Here we go. Oh, we don't need to see the recap on that for the break. We already saw it all. How stupid they acted. Wait a minute, hold on, I'm gonna... Went too far. I always do. And plus I got an older TV, so huh? Okay, here we go. You asked if you ever had sexual intercourse with Ricky during his relationship with Sharp Edric. You said yes, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. If you had sexual intercourse with Ricky in the past year, you said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Hey, you see how stupid she's acting? She, said, she has sex in the last year, and we're gonna shake her ass and show everybody how big and bad we are. Yes, the lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Okay, and you saw what she did. Have you had sex with Ricky in the last week? She puts her ass up in his face. Like, she's so proud of that. Bitch! I'd have my hand out going where the fuck's the money so I can buy a shit for my kid. And if you ain't gonna give me the money, then you need to go get a job and buy the shit. But regardless, time for the DNA test. Yeah, right. When it comes to six month old Kashaya, Ricky, you are not fucked. Right there shows what a fucking skank she is. She ain't worried about that kid. All she want to do is get a DNA test, pin it on him, and guess what? Cha-ching! Oh, I get government benefits. I'll get food stamps, and I'll get money. Okay, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, I'm on disability. I'm on food stamps, okay? When my kids were younger, yeah, I was on government system, but the main thing that I was on was for the medical. Half the time I didn't even get the check. I got the medical and food stamps. But I worked. Okay. Because. 200 and what. I'm up north. Near Cincinnati. And $223 for two kids. Is not going to get. You know. Diapers. And clothes. And you know. Everything they need. Okay. It just pisses me off that these girls out here, you know, like my cousin, she's got like, I think it's 10 some odd kids she's got, maybe eight. She had two, and then she got this guy, and she had kid after kid after kid, and she wasn't working. She was living in low income housing on government assistance 
the guy that got her pregnant with all these kids lived with her. But she was telling him, well, he's in Cincinnati somewhere. I can't, I don't know where he's at. I don't know how to get a hold of him. I need help. Well, she screwed up and someone got mad at her and reported her. And she had to pay all that money back. So this is why these motherfucking people piss me off. Because that's all it is. If she's coming on here wanting to get a DNA test, pin it on somebody. That way, she can sit back on her ass and not have to work. Because if she was really concerned about that kid, him not buying anything for that kid, she wouldn't have been asleep with him a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. 